It is Valentine's Day and I have partnered with Shapermint to bring you a try on of bras, panties, briefs, some light shapewear. Thank you so much to Shapermint for sponsoring today's video. They did give us an extra discount code. I will pop it up a few times uh, throughout the video to make sure because you can use this code to save an extra 20% on top of the sale. We love that. And this try on, I kind of love it because it all has the undertone of being comfortable, but also being confident, feeling the best in your own own skin. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to do each of these in terms of listing the claims on the website and then the comparison to them and then just my overall review, how I wear it, etc. So this first one here, the True Kind Everyday Throw On Wireless Bralette. The big thing here is that is wireless, of course. There's no hook and eye in the back. It's as comfortable as wearing a t-shirt, the wider straps and how they don't slip or dig into your skin. Perfectly sculpts your bust while preventing quad boob and then a nice seamless look without bra lines. A couple things with this one. Definitely agree with it's as comfortable as wearing a t-shirt. I've actually accidentally worn this to bed before. And you know how sometimes when you wear a bra to bed, it, especially if you're someone that does not do that, you instantly regret it the next morning. Every single time I've done that with this one, I've had no regrets. Never dug into me throughout the night, etc. So I'm definitely a fan in general of wide strap. It's just going to prevent digging. So I definitely agree with that. In terms of perfectly sculpts your bust while preventing quad boob, although I don't think I have quad boob, I don't know if I'd say it perfectly sculpts your bust. This is the type of brawl that I definitely would wear at home. I would wear it under like a big baggy sweatshirt. I would run to the grocery store in it. But like, am I going to wear it with sort of a normal outfit to work or out for an evening? I would say not really. For me, it doesn't do enough there. And probably what would help it do more would be if it actually had adjustable straps, because for me, I just feel like the lift is lacking. But because of that, it's obviously making it very comfortable. So this is definitely a very heavily worn bra for me. I was excited that I was able to get a new one to put in the video. But later in the video, in terms of one that I've had for a really long time, and you can actually see it without the padding because the padding Padding is removable. So stay tuned for that if you want to see kind of what it looked like with the padding here and then without later. True Kind Daily Comfort Wireless Shaper Bra. So a couple of the claim to fames are, of course, that it's comfortable, breathable, stretchy new fabric, extra wide straps, eliminating lines and bulges for a smooth fit, and then, of course, no wires. I feel like I don't have a ton more to say about this one outside of the last ones. When I said the advantages and the disadvantages of the last one, I feel like they're really the same for this. The big difference for me here is the fact that this one has the hook in the back, but because I feel like I'm not getting a lot more lift with this one compared to the first one. Out of the two, I would say the first one would definitely be the favorite. This one is actually a new one to me that I was able to try out specifically for this video where the other one I've been wearing for a while and I have several of them and I truly love them so much. Between the two of them, if I had to stack them up against each other, I would go with the first one as kind of that everyday brawl feel. Oh, hey, oh, hey, it's just me. Pardon the interruption. I'm just popping in. Wanted to welcome Welcome you into the channel if you do happen to be new here or if you are not new here then welcome back my channel here is all about helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion. We do cook a lot of looks on this channel, like I like to say. If you are mid-size, curvy, not any of those things, just like affordable fashion, please consider subscribing, but only if you're awesome. That's what I always like to say. Subscribe if you're awesome. <laughs> Everything that we're going through today is going to be numbered, as you've seen, and those numbers will coordinate to the numbers that are down below in the description box. You can get to the description box by just clicking the title of the video, which will open up a box, click more, and then you'll have access to all the links. If you choose to use my links, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. As you guys know, this entire video is Shapermint. I'm excited because I've actually worked with them for quite some time over on Instagram and TikTok, but this is my first YouTube video partnering with them. And some of these have been favorites for quite a while, while some of them I'm trying out for the first time in this video. So it's kind of fun to see like first impression review type of style. As always with my partnerships, I like to thank you guys, the community for supporting. You guys are the reason why I'm here and able to work with them. So I hope you're loving the stuff so far. Let's keep moving. I 
love this bra. You will have to forgive me because mine is well loved here in this footage. The claims here, buttery soft, foam cups for the perfect fit. It's wire free, but it gives just as much support as with the wire adjustable straps that don't slip, extra band coverage for a smooth shape and form, adjustable hook and eye for breast changes, and then convertible straps. So let's kind of talk about these. The fabric is extraordinarily soft. 100% attest to that. I guess I didn't even realize these were foam cups. They do give a very nice shape, as nice of shape as you would in like a typical standard bra. I would also say that I do feel like it is very supportive without a wire. I don't feel like I'm going anywhere in this. I will say that's when I had the straps all the way up. And in the footage here, I sort of showed you what it looked like with the straps all the way up. And that's the type of look that I would wear literally with a shirt going out on a Friday night, whatever, versus if I have them kind of half halfway down, it's much more of like a house bra sort of a feel. But the nice thing about that is it doesn't lose its comfort throughout any of that transition. The one just gives you a little bit more va va voom. They don't even have this as a call out on here, but I also like that it's sort of v-necks in the front because if it is truly almost a bralette vibe with a bra possibility, is that a slogan? Bralette vibes with bra possibilities. <laughs> if you are going to wear this with more of a shirt that's going to show cleavage or something, I just feel like it lends itself more to that. The fact that it does have the v-neck and there's something about having that extra band that's something i never even knew i wanted or needed in a bra at the bottom there where it sort of digs into you now of course this doesn't have wires so it's already gonna have the propensity to not dig into you something about having that extra layer there just really does provide extra comfort a huge win all around a little bit limited stock which is kind of a bummer it sells out quickly it's a huge fan favorite if you can get your hands on this one i can't recommend it enough I tried my best here in the panty footage. Your girl still works in corporate America, so I try to be a little bit modest when it comes to these types of try-ons. Work with me here, work with me. Everyday high-waisted shaper panty. I was excited to try for the first time with this video. The claims are the silicone strip, complete control top to bottom to give you a smooth look under clothes. Light, it's breathable like a second skin. I love this one so much and I can tell you exactly how I'm gonna wear it. There are so many times where I'm being dress and I am wearing a little bit too tight of a pant, which is giving me muffin top. This would be perfect for that. And if you haven't seen in the brawl part of my video, which how could you miss it guys? How could you miss it? I have, I have some pretty, pretty strong back fat going on. Like it's there. She's living. Okay. This covers it. I'm not shy to some fitted clothing. And usually I just let my back fat live her best life. <laughs> I'm one of those people like, how, how are we looking from the front here? The reason I think it's going to be a heavy traveler throughout my wardrobe and various outfits is because it really does feel comfortable to wear. I would argue that it sort of feels like I'm wearing really tall underwear that are maybe light shaping. So my point is it's very approachable in terms of going to the bathroom. Anything that sort of includes a panty that is shaping, it often has a very thick band meaning you're gonna get very heavy panty lines. And look, I'm not somebody that cares a ton about panty lines. I'm just also one of those people where I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing underwear, so uh, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> I'm sort of annoyed when it's just so thick. Out of all the shaping panty type of products that I've tried, definitely have the thinnest. They also actually cover my butt too, which is not always the case. So that's even worse, right? When they don't cover the whole butt and then you got that thick line, it looks ridiculous. I feel like it could be thinner and maybe it can't be. Maybe that's why they're all thick like that. I'm excited about these. <laughs> they kind of caught me by surprise. We are about halfway through this video. So please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. It really helps out me and my channel and I can never thank you enough. Enough. True Kind Seamless Stretch Mid Waist Brief. So when I first saw the sizing on these, so small through XL and then 2XL through 4XL, I kind of side eyed it because it usually doesn't work for me. These do work for me. So let's read the claims here laser cut seamless edges for a smoother look. No VPL. Oh my gosh, visible panty lines. Is that a thing? VPL, that acronym. This is the first time I'm seeing that acronym. Love it. I'm gonna say that again in the future so that it sounds like I am well educated on this topic. <laughs> Breathable fabric and cotton stays in place. No bunching, no rolling. Ultra stretch in only two sizes that fit everybody in full coverage. Look, 100% on all of these. They are so thin. 
yet so comfortable, yet so soft, yet so luxurious feeling. They're one of those where like, you pick them up and you almost are like, ooh, like, I'm fancy. You know what I mean? So breathable. They do not bunch. They do not roll. They are so good. My butt is massive. We know how massive my butt is. They cover that. I don't get wedgies. And I really am loving the sort of, can we call this a modern granny panty? Let's just do that. Let's, let's call it that. I love that because when you do have a little bit of a belly on you, let's say you're wearing sort of a lighter pant that's not a jean. I love having almost that extra layer there versus a low cut breathe because I've talked a lot on this channel about how I love wearing camis, undershirts. It's like, I can't let them go. For me, it feels like I'm wearing an undershirt on my stomach pooch if I have a little bit of a higher cut brief like that. Do you guys feel like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do I sound, do I sound weird for saying that? I don't know. I need more pairs of these because you know how you know when something's your favorite underwear is when laundry day comes and they're the first pair that you grab. That's how these are for me. They're so good. Essentials Everyday Empower Jacquard Shaper Shorts. So these were also new to me. So let's read about some of the claims. So high-waisted, comfortable coverage, and 360 tummy control, targeted moderate compression panels that shape and enhance, targeted zone and upper back, thigh for butt lifting effect. I want to get to that one. Breathable, soft flex boning, and silicone grips prevent roll down, comfortable 24-7 wear. When I first saw that that boning was in there, I got nervous because, I mean, we all know how boning can be. It's not fun always, but it does not bother you at all. And it is flexible. I think it's a good way to describe it. It's like a flexible boning. I did not find that this rolled down. I agree about breathable fabric. These to me felt like I wouldn't say light compression, but more like a medium compression. And I know everybody has sort of different tolerance levels, but for me, if it's going to be kind of that everyday shapewear, I'm fine with light and medium compression. Gave my butt some shape and some lift. But overall, I'd say for medium compression, Compression style shapewear. I feel like this was definitely very comfortable. And stay tuned because I actually did work with Shaperman in the past over on Instagram with one of the shorts that are coming up, and you can truly see the butt lifting effect. So um, I know this one's kind of similar based on that as well. So stay tuned for that, and I'll kind of insert that video. Essentials High Waisted Shaper Shorts. So I really liked these. This was also my first time trying these out for review. Out of the two so far that were the shaping shorts, I like these better. To be fair, they have very similar things going on to the last pair in terms of like they're breathable, they're comfortable, they go up high, they have that silicone band. It's meant to be medium compression, have an overall smoothing effect. The one thing that this does not claim is the butt part of it. But I will say in general, just between the two of them, this feels like lighter compression to be, but it feels more like every day. And you know, this video is kind of all about comfort. And I know a lot of the community here is interested in shapewear in terms of some of you guys wear it all the time. Some of you guys are like, oh heck no, but might be interested in the idea of comfortable shapewear. This is one I would just absolutely put in that category because even though it says medium, I would say that it's sort of light medium compression and it just feels like you're wearing bigger underwear, maybe bigger, slightly tighter underwear. And I would have no problem wearing this under really anything that I'm wearing because it just does have that level of comfort for me and overall wearability. I really can't recommend this one enough. And I'm seeing here that it says that it's clearance for the Valentine's Day sale, which makes me want to grab several more uh, if it's not gonna be around too much longer. So I would definitely check this one out. Essentials Everyday and Power Mesh Shaper Shorts. These are interesting to me for several reasons, but let's first read the claims. Five targeted compression zones for tummy, lower belly, and butt lifting effect. Comfortable fabric to wear all day, every day. And the top band stays in place without rolling down. When I first got these, the first thing that I noticed is they are a little bit different than the typical shaping short that I wear in that there's more compression in the belly area. And the legs are, I don't want 
want to say looser because it's not like they're loose, but it's almost like they fit. So it's compression upper and just fit lower. Although I do have a belly, but usually one of the biggest things I'm typically looking to get out of shape wear is that saddlebag area. So for me, that's obviously going to be the lower hip and upper thigh area, meaning I'm typically not wearing a ton that doesn't do much in terms of thigh shaping. However, I know there's lots of people out there that don't even care about that and want stomach shaping, like 100% they're focused on the belly. So when I first got these, I sort of was like, okay, that's cool. I could definitely see me wearing them in certain scenarios where I'm going to be caring more about my stomach, but not as much about my legs. Except when I went to go do the try on of these, I did a full before and after that I can put on here. And I was shocked at the butt lifting effect. I almost had to see it to believe it. So for me personally, that is the biggest claim to fame for these mesh shaping shorts specifically. And I'll show you guys the comparison video. Today we are testing out new shapewear and power mesh shaper shorts by Shaperman. So we're gonna try these on. I'm wearing a very form-fitted dress and we're gonna see the difference that it makes. Here's the before. Claims are tummy, lower belly, and butt lifting effect, and also a band that stays in place. My areas are definitely in this section. We're trying to fix it. Okay, let me show you the after. I feel like the difference is pretty obvious here, but one thing that I do wanna point out is often shorts like this there's sort of equal parts stomach control and leg control I feel like this one definitely has the control more in the stomach and is a little bit more comfortable on the legs which I think will be great for all day wear and the band is great just like it claims to be and the butt lifting I was shocked at the butt lifting do we see the difference uh these are a yes from me and there we have it. This was a little bit of a different video for me. So definitely let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below. Tell me if you're familiar with Shaper Mint. Tell me what you were most excited about from this video, what you could see yourself wearing. I would love to hear that down in the comments. And once again, thank you so much to Shaper Mint for sponsoring today's video. As a quick reminder, there is a huge Valentine's Day sale going on right now and you can save an extra 20% off with my code. Don't forget to subscribe if you are awesome. I didn't forget the secret video word. So if you made it here all the way to the end, I cannot thank you enough. Please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of VPL. I'm already using the terminology more, you guys. Look at me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.